Well, this video is one in my series of what do RC car guys build when they lose their minds? Because on the bench behind me is no longer a humble 8S low seat DB XLE. That's because in this video, you're gonna see yours truly convert it to 12S. If you thought they had built some scary stuff before, think again, because this thing takes it to a whole new level. Now in the first bit of this video, you're going to see me talk about what the problem was because I actually had something that I needed to change on the car because the car wasn't running well. And then I'm going to show you my new motor and the new 12S ESC, both of which have to be seen to be believed. And at the end of the video, I'm going to run this thing around the yard, although I think we're going to need a very, very large field to go test this thing in, as I'm sure you all agree, once you see the thing run. Anyway, let me talk you through the problem I had with the car and then show you all the new gear. Now I would point out, that car weighs 33 pounds in weight and to work on it easily you need a dedicated stand like this. But this is not a dedicated RC stand, this is one you can pick up in Home Depot. Yours for about 50 bucks, something like that, that holds up to like 200 pounds in weight. So here's the car, now I'm going to talk you through exactly what problems I've been having with the motor, which is just a horror story. But bear in mind, motor it still works. Absolutely fine. Well, the problem is a simple innocuous one that appears to have happened from the car under heavy landings. You know, the grub screw on the pinion is fully tightened in at the minute, but also note it moves around like that on the shaft. The shaft has got that heavily scored by under the big air landings, this pinion shifting that there is a groove cut round in there and no matter how hard I tighten this pinion up, I fit a new one to it, doesn't matter. The scoring on the shaft simply means that the pinion will no longer marry up tightly to the motor, which is completely written the motor off. So the motor runs absolutely fine. Hope that makes sense. So it's really annoying. That's like a $200 motor completely written off by the scoring of the grub screw around the shaft. But I think it's those big air landings that have caused the problem on it. And sadly, you can't seem to buy an armature shaft for the car on its own, which is really, really annoying. Anyway, let's get the castle fans off, beside the motor in, and that 12S ESC. Wait till you see that. Anyway, before I get rid of the old motor and the old ESC, which I'll probably reutilize on some other car, let's take a look at the new ones. Just remember guys, if you like what you see today, don't forget to subscribe. Okay, now I absolutely love my Poseidon motors. You can either buy them from Poseidon RC Direct or if you're in the San Jose era, JJ Customs. I've got a link to them below with the video. Also sell these motors. Although for something like this, they're probably gonna be a special order. Check out the size of that baby on there. I'm now thinking, have I got a gear big enough for that? But just check out the quality of this thing on it. Fully engineered. Absolutely awesome on it. We've got 200 degrees seat, six gauge wire for the leads, no less. And or would you say, for handling this amount of power, you ain't getting 6.5 mil connectors from the Poseidon motor. These are eight millimeter bullet connectors. But I think this thing should power the XLE to some serious speed, particularly when I power it with a 12S ESC, like this one. I'll tell you, very rarely does an RC car product scare me on the side looking at it, but wait until you check out this. There are ESCs, and there are ESCs like this. I'll read the instruction manual in just a minute. We've got our on off switch on there, but just check out that beast. Now for anybody that doesn't quite get how crazy an RC car conversion project this is, this is the new ASC. That's the existing one, 160 amp. Just the size difference is just simply mind blowing. Anyway, let's look at this baby in more detail. Absolutely, oh, a little cat pack bank on there. <gasps> My goodness me. Separate cat pack needed? That's 12 capacitors in the side of the thing. 12! Fan on the top to keep things nice and cool. As I say, 300 amp ESC on it. 6S to 12S LiPo capable. 
Now you are, if you buy one of these, and I will put a link to it below the video, if you buy one of these, you are going to need to solder it on your own bullet connectors. That's A, B and C ports going out to your motor. Power cables, negative and positive going in there. And we've got two leads going out to the receiver. And I'm assuming one of those is probably for adjusting the ESC on the fly. Huge footprint. I mean, that's probably coming up on, say, maybe five inches by three inches across on there. So I'm going to need to find a lot of room in order to mount that thing inside my Lossy DB XLE. But just check, I'm just blown away by it. Me, speechless, but I very nearly am with the look and the quality of this thing. And that cat pack bank, 12 capacitors in there. Cannot wait to get this installed and on 12S on the Lossy DB XLE. So let's get to it. Okay, got my bullet connectors soldered on. Color coded the leads on the ESC side of things, but I'm not going to color code the motor leads until I put it in the car and check which way the motor is running. Hope that makes sense. Okay, well, we're nearly ready to go again. Just got to fit in the new motor and the new ESC and kind of put it all back together again, Rich. Okay, new Poseidon motor in. It is fitted with a 17 tooth pinion on here. The old one was a complete pig to remove, despite it just flopping round on the shaft, no way, shape or form would it come off the shaft, so I had to cut the old motor shaft off. It wasn't that I was worried about keeping the pinion, but I did need the motor mount that the motor screws into. But nonetheless, we should have a huge speed increase fitting the 17 tooth pinion alone. And by the way, for anyone that thinks this is easy, I actually managed to hit my finger and dislocate it out of the socket, of which I will not go into the level of pain that yours truly is under right now, all for the love of RC. Get to it, Rich. Okay, motoring, dead easy to finish this job right. Just simply gotta drop the AC back into the existing mounting plate, which kind of doesn't fit in there. Bear in mind, these are the two battery trays. It doesn't fit in on its side there without hanging an inch over the side of the car. Could fit it on that side to the side of the pinion gear just there, but then it's still gonna be hanging over the edge of the car there. So Rich, you're completely stuffed, you idiot. What have you done? Well, luckily, when it comes to mounting the ESC, yours truly is not too bad on his technical skills and actually sell a mounting plate uh, for the obviously DBX Lee, which enables you to fit a Castle XLX ESC on here. This will have to do for the minute in terms of mounting that on there. Bit of double sided tape on there, a couple of uh, Ziploc ties over the top, and we should be good to go. Not ideal, but it will do to get the thing running today. Okay, well, the plan is coming together. ESC now in place, double sided tape underneath that plate. It's a little bit smaller than I would like, and if anybody is interested in doing the same conversion, I will quite happily make up a larger plate to fit this huge ZTW 300 amp ESC. And I'll probably do that for my own benefit anyway, so it's just as easy for me to knock up a few of those for other people. So that is not going anywhere in too much of a hurry. I've not done the Ziploc tie down too tight, because I don't want to crush those cat packs on there. So I'm not going to be going mad with the thing over jumps today. Just going to take it out for a quick spin around the yard. That 17 tooth pinion promises high speed. I've color coded the ESC cables, not color coded the motor ones yet. So let's get this thing wired up on 12S. See which way the motor is turning. Reverse the cables if need be. Then I'm going to color code the heat shrink on it so we can't go wrong in future. Hope that makes sense. Let's get to it. Okay, got my Twin Castle cooling fans set up on here. ESC plugged in. All the electrics wired in, etc. All the cables nice and tidy on there. I'm just going to hold the car down because the power on this thing is just like, well, suffice to say, do one thing a day that scares you. As I say, suffice to say, do one thing a day that scares you. That would be give this thing full throttle on 12S. Richie. Lost for words, absolutely lost for words. I think I went new tires because this thing is going to be absolutely terrifying. Okay, already, let's take this thing for a quick spin around the yard. Well, I can tell you right now, this thing, it, it even just inching forwards, the power under there is just ballistic. That 33 pound car just pulled a wheelie. I think. Suffice to say, I'm barely even going to get, not even going to get close to like 5% throttle. I'm going to keep well out of the way of this thing as well. 
think I might need to put the belted tires on from the Traxxas Max because I think this is going to be a bit of a handful and you really do have to watch yourself around it. Can you provoke it to drift? Power. Man. Power is just, it's virgin on insane. Uh, to do a speed run on this, I'm going to play the safe and stand on the wall because this thing is just, it's got way, way too much power for the yard. I mean, it just, just plain bonkers, to use that Richie phrase. Good brakes on it though. Definitely going to need like a mammoth field on this and I think belted tyres are going to be an absolute must. This, the pat, even just a millimetre of, of travel on the throttle and the thing is uh, wanting to take off like an absolute rocket. That's spinning all four wheels on the launch on there. Definitely going to need to fit the belted tyres on this. I'm thinking this thing's probably got maybe 70 miles an hour in it plus which for a car weighing 33 pounds, it's fairly impressive. But that wheeling, that's just crazy. Anybody ever seen a low DBXLA wheelie before? I would try it on the grass, but I don't even have much grass left. I bet this will simply massacre the grass. Yep, simply massacres the grass. It just, no, I'm gonna ruin my grass if I do that. Well, Richie, I think suffice to say, you have created an absolute, keeping it child friendly, monster with this thing. But it's got that much power. You can just home with the thing. But I am very conscious that I've probably been very lucky so far. Well, I hope you can see the simply awesome potential the Losi DBX LA now has on 12S. If you like, I don't. So, if you want to see more of this car, because I'm going to need to take it and find it. Anyway, it is going to be coming to a very large field near you on a very small screen very soon. So, if you don't want to miss that video, then don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. This thing is so scary. I nearly lost. This thing's so scary. I'm lost for words again. This is just a crazy amount of power to be using around the yard. I'm very lucky not to hit anything, including my own legs. These tires will simply grenade themselves and blow themselves to pieces, and they are quite pricey uh, on it if I keep going on, on the kind of full throttle around the yard. So I'm gonna need to fit belted tires uh, to this car. Now I've got the Power Hobby belted tires that are currently fitted to the Traxxas Max, so we'll see if we can fit those on board of here, because I definitely think it needs them if they're not to have a, like a massive blowout at 70 miles an hour, because the danger is if I use this thing and it gets close to that 70 miles an hour, plus that I think the car's probably now capable of a blowout at that speed with a 33 pound weight of car could be absolutely catastrophic to both the car and anyone stood near it. Anyway, I will be taking it out to run it in a large field as soon as I possibly can and we're going to put the GPS on board and see just how fast this bad boy is. So if you don't want to miss that video then don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Well thumbs up if you like this video guys, post any comments you might have in the comment section below the video and hit the circle below to subscribe and if you do hit the circle don't forget to hit the bell.